so I saw these guys uh, audio experience, audio video experience, something like that. Like the guys who were um, doing. Anyway, that guy Jonathan. Somebody hmm. posted our after sh- that uh, that they were mentioning magic beans, you know, and that that somebody claimed that I said that you could use magic beans to make some cheap cheapo speakers sound like sound better than thousand thousand dollar speakers, right? Something like that, and the that's taken way out of context because what I've actually said is buy the best speakers, best best measuring speakers you can afford, right? I'm not saying that you don't get anything the more, you know, the higher up you go, you're probably going to get better drivers that can uh, play louder without distortion. You're going to get a nicer cabinet. You're going to get something, right? Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean all the time that you're going to, you know, get something better. There are expensive speakers that are are like straight garbage. Like those things exist. So it's not price related. It's measurement dependent, right? And so what I said was that the Polk XC20s, that are 250 bucks a pair have surprisingly good directivity, which means that they will take well to EQ. And the EQs are cuts, meaning that's not going to affect the uh, the distortion profile. Uh, instead of like, let's say there's another one where you have to boost certain regions, that might cause it to distort. So I was saying that particular speaker will outperform significantly more expensive speakers. Not mm-hmm. every single one, you know. If I get a pro listen think, speaker, it's going to perform better. What the heck? I think um, I think the issue is that the question was wrong, or the, the question qu- wasn't like the best question, right? I think well, they were responding wrong. to something I didn't say. Right, right, and so they didn't. So then they were just, and then they just kind of was like, "Oh well, I uh, know," or whatever. I don't, I don't even remember what dude said, but I, I just noticed that the question was just kind of wrong. It was a wrong well, it's question. Like if, I said, if Chana said, Techno Dad says that he absolutely hates OLEDs and he loves Polaroid projectors. So what do you? Let's talk about that. Let's talk about why. <laughs> you why brought that's the case. that shit up. You know why does why does Chana <laughs> love Polaroid projectors and not OLEDs? I mean, it doesn't make sense because the picture quality is so much better. You get better black levels, and you know there's just a lot to be desired about the Polaroid old, uh, you know, uh, projector. So. Kind of not understanding why he thinks that. Like, never said that. Never said that. Actually, I said the complete opposite. <laughs> complete That's opposite. What, so exactly. That's yeah. exactly what happened. I said the exact opposite. I said, find speakers that have great directivity because directivity will determine whether a, a speaker is EQable. Forget magic exactly. beans. Is exactly. it EQable with Dirac? Is it a EQable with anything else? The directivity index is going to let you know how eqable that speaker is yeah and that's the metric i'm saying i just found happen to find ones that are inexpensive that have surprisingly good directivity better than a lot of more expensive ones okay and i just went through the process of going through a bunch of speakers on spinorama which looks at measurements from lots of different websites from aaron's from audioholics from um uh, uh, audio science review, you know, some independent ones when the companies have a clipple machine, they post all of them there. And I went through every single one of them mm-hmm. to find the speakers that have excellent directivity. I mean, at the end of the day, if that is the um, mark of a speaker you're looking for because you want to EQ it, why not? Why not get the cheapest one you can? Hey, how about this? Why don't you get the ex- most expensive one you can and the cheapest one you can and see if they if they have the both around the same gr- uh, amount of like directivity or like, you know, however you measure it? I have do you think it sounds exactly whole, the same or what do you think? I have like 20 speakers that I found out of thousands that have excellent uh, very good directivity that I think are very EQ EQable. What's now, some rate? of them are like for listen, like some of the expensive Kef stuff where you're like of course okay. they yes they yeah okay. they, they they're awesome but they're also extremely expensive sure, right sure. so i was kind of looking for more uh, like hidden gems right you know which speakers out there may have maybe a poor frequency response but you could eq the crap out of them um 
Yeah, so see, FOMO knows. He knows what's up. He says some cheapo clips or Cali have amazing directivity for the money. Yeah, I mean, the new Cali Audio I, what is it called? LP UNF, pretty amazing directivity. Uh, some clips, I think, which clips do we have here that measure pretty well? I think they were some. Uh, I'm not sure. Some, uh, the yes, five. Bro. Yes, to answer your question, I got all these shirts in Sri Lanka. Yes. RP500M, $299 oh, a pair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're pretty, pretty good. Not the best, you know, they're not the best, but they're 300 bucks a pair. Right. And you Did know what? Is down funny? In price? Aren't they like 600 bucks? Maybe, yeah. The other thing is. Now, if you can't catch the show, we do have an audio version at anchor.fm slash daily hi fi. So make sure to go on over there if you like to listen to the show.